Hi, I'm Dave with Washburn Guitars, and today we're going to introduce you to the Washburn 5240, the Washburn Solo Deluxe. As you can see, it's kind of a vintage looking piece, and, and that is because we've actually taken back a little bit on our 130 year history, and we visited the year 1937 and uh, making the exact same guitar, the Washburn Solo Deluxe. Going to start you down here, looking at a real nice vintage two-tone sunburst finish over a solid Sitka spruce top. Got a nice rosette around the sound hole, which is kind of uh, simple yet elegant. And um, boy, I wish you could see inside here for just a little bit because the, the bracing is really beautiful and traditional. Little trapezoidal action going on there. Got a nice ebony fingerboard. Some real nice inlay on the top that you haven't seen. This is exactly the inlay that was on the 37 Washburn Solo Deluxe. Checking out back here, we've elected to use some real traditional Grover Butterbean kind of open face tuners. And uh, got some nice rosette marquetry going across the back of the guitar as well. Once again, it's, it's the kind of guitar that uh, you probably haven't seen before. It's not a dreadnought. It's not a triple O shaped. It's, uh, it's unique in its own way, and it, and it kind of has its own unique tone that responds to uh, finger style and, and some flat picking real well. It seems to have a lot of action coming off the back of the guitar too. The guitar is nicely resonant and uh, really seems to fit well. It, it's, it's the kind of guitar that you'd like to take out and hammer in a, in a little old timey band or maybe uh, it, it would lend itself perfectly to a great solo performance as well. For more information on the Washburn Solo Deluxe, visit washburn.com.